And here we have a retro spot on Visionaries, Knights of the Magical Light, Darkling Lords, Recon. Um, originally I was only going to touch base on the eight figures from the, the Visionaries line, um, just the ones that were sold on their own. The, uh, the characters such as Recon, um, Ektar, uh, Feral, and Mortrid, all the uh, the pilots of the vehicles that came with the vehicles, I was going to do the figures at the same time as when I did the vehicle reviews, um, only because they weren't sold separately. The reason why I kind of made an exception with this guy was basically because I, I already know in advance that the Dagger Assault is going to take a lot of time to review. Um, it might even be a two-parter considering that with YouTube I can only do a 10 minute review. So uh, I just figured I'd maybe do this guy on its own or on his own. Uh, maybe I could touch more base on, on him. I could get a little more into detail that, you know, um, whereas I wouldn't be able to do it if I did the vehicle and him. Um, he would basically be rushed. But um, here we have Recon. In the cartoon, Recon was played up very much as a thief. Um, he did stuff only at the... Uh, at the re at the at the price of a reward, or or if somebody paid paid his fee, he would do he would do something for them, um, very much like a bounty hunter, uh, like a pirate kind of thing. Um, he he was honorable, and he wouldn't betray you, providing that you did pay his price, kind of thing. Um, his totem was that of a lizard. Um, they didn't really specify. Uh, what specifically, what kind of lizard he is. Uh, he s resembled almost that of a crocodile, even though the head was a little bit different. Um, I'm almost surprised that they just gave him a generic totem like a, a lizard and uh, didn't make up a character like they did with Cravex. I know with Cravex they gave him a Phylot. Um, with this guy it was just basically a, a lizard. Um, not, I don't like his head very much at all. Um, I don't really like the heads on most of the visionary toys. They are very, uh, they're not show accurate, I, I'll say that. But uh, luckily, uh, Recon, like every other visionary figure, does come with a helmet. Very, I very much like the helmet too. It's, it's a really nice looking helmet. Very large too. Um, one other thing to note on the, on the helmet too, and I'll put the helmet on the figure first, is the fact that it encompasses quite a bit of his uh, of his shoulder area. I mean, it's not it's not a small helmet at all. And I like the fact that the spikes from the top of the helmet carry on and then go right into his armor, which is nice. Um, there's your figure. I'll just put that down for for a second here. Uh, his weapon uh, was that of a d dagger or or a small sword. Um, it was like a serrated sword as well. It's pretty nice. Um, all the Darkling Lords all had a gold weapon. Uh, their power staffs, except for of course this guy, uh, were all gold as well. The Spectral Knights, of course, were all like a silver. Uh, so their weapons were silver, their staffs were silver. Um, Recon also came with a file card which gives a nice picture of Recon on the side there with his uh, lizard totem. Um, now, just given a, just want to read on here about Recon, a treacherous lord that will do anything to eliminate the spectral knights. So full of guile he, is he that Merklin gave him the ultimate command of dagger assault, the most awesome and powerful battlecraft in the Darkling Lord Armada. Uh, mystic personality represented by a lizard. This evil lord can slither in and out of spectral knight defenses, coldly creeping into heavily secured areas. Um, his vehicle power is, of course, he was the pilot of the Dagger Assault. Uh, it says Dagger Assault has a dungeon that siphons the mis magical powers from the captured spectral knights, leaving them powerless. Um, if you watch the uh, cartoon, uh, I know I was re I religiously followed it. Um, the spectral or the the um, Darkling Lords. There we go. Uh, had this huge base called the Dagger Assault, and the idea with the Dagger Assault is it was pretty much like a moving headquarters for them. And then they had like a little chamber uh, at the back of the vehicle, 
And I'll, I'll show you this when I get into the toy review of, of the vehicle itself, but you could put the uh, Spectral Knights in that, it was like a little dungeon chamber, and it would suck out their totems. And unless they went back into the Dagger Assault and reversed the process, they wouldn't be able to turn into their animals, which I thought was really cool. Um, it was nice that four members of, well, two members of each team didn't have staffs, but they were granted the ability to activate technology. Um, in the cartoon, they only had two vehicles each, uh, the Dagger Assault and the um, Skyclaw were the, de were the uh, Darkling Lord's vehicles, and then the vehicles for the Spectral Knights were the Capture Chariot and the Lancer Cycle. And then, of course, like I said, Recon could pilot either one, so could uh, Mortred. And then on the other side, Feral or Ektar could pilot either one of the one of their vehicles, and and vice versa too. Like they could use they could pilot any vehicle really, um, which was an asset to the to the teams because as soon as the Age of Magic came in, no vehicles could work. All the electricity died. Um, but if we go quickly back to his file card, one thing of interest is the fact that they've given him a summon. For the magic extractor. Now, in the cartoon, he never he never needed to say this summon in order to extract the magic. It was just a case of throwing the darkling or throwing the spectral knights in the chamber. I think he pressed the button, and then the magic would uh, s the totem would suck out from the spectral knights. But um, his summon was flay the flesh, lay bare the bone upon this field. Let grief be sown. Uh, fairly. Fairly uh, morbid there, but uh, there you have Recon. A nice figure, um, a great asset. I mean, especially seeing as what he comes with is that ginormous uh, dagger assault. Like I said, I w I'll be touching base on the vehicles as well. Uh, those are on their way, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy them. In the meantime, I'm going to wrap this video up, and that pretty much concludes all my Visionaries toys, at least the figures. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed them. That was a retro spot on Visionaries Knights of the Magical Light, Darkling Lords, Recon. And I'll see you guys next time.